What's going on, y'all? This is Chris with No Limit Squad, your personal ISO chain and fitness vlogging channel. Today, we're going to cover the seated bicep curl. The reason why you'd want to do a seated bicep curl is say you're really having trouble with the, keeping a neutral spine on the standing and you're ripping into it and your back is like that, or you're just like that with a cat back, uh, what's called the fitness world, cat back, core form, rounded back, and you just want to get the 100% bicep curl benefit, you can do it from seated. So what you wanna do, make sure that the chain link is set correctly for this. So this is neutral position going up at a slight angle here. If you have it completely down like that, all you're gonna end up doing is the wrist curl again. So from this position, all you wanna do, have the base plate as close to you as you can. So close to the chair or close to the couch or whatever, display facing you, pull. Ah. All right. What helps a lot with doing the seated bicep curl is pushing your feet down into the plate as you're pulling up on the bar. Those opposing forces really allow you to get the maximum contraction for those six seconds during the isometric uh, iso chain bicep curl. Um, it's really helpful. Just make sure that you breathe out for these. Just because it's sitting, again, it doesn't mean it's not intense, it is. But yes, again, this is just for, if you're looking to just take the whole keep neutral spine out of it, that's what you wanna do. You just wanna keep the chin up, rip into it, and that's, that's how you do it. Watch the numbers, grow. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to be part of the No Limit Squad, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.